Joining us now to discuss is Congressman Dan Muser from Pennsylvania, Republican from Pennsylvania. Congressman, thank you so much for coming on. Um, I would like you to react to the news of this uh, alleged memo that made its way to the Secretary, Secretary of State advising them that they knew this would be a swift takeover, takeover of Kabul and Afghanistan, though you've seen the president there in General Milley deny that. Yeah, well, you know, ignorant and wasteful planning always leads to terrible outcomes, and it wasn't necessarily ignorant, we're learning. Uh, they had this information. 35, I believe, staff members from the embassy signed off stating that they did not think the ANA was going to be able to stand up once the withdrawal began. There were reports about equipment, uh, where equipment locations would be. And this was sent to uh, the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, who our Foreign Affairs Committee uh, will likely have up in front of a Foreign Affairs uh, panel next, next next week. Look, you know, this is just as awful. Andrea Merkel, uh, the German chancellor, even said uh, she believed President Biden did this for domestic political purposes. It's hard for any of us to relate, or many of us anyway, to relate to this why they would move forward and call for the 9-11 date. What was President Biden looking for? His hero moment that uh, the troops would be would be uh, uh, withdrawn and um, and a, a civil war would, would, would ensue. And he'd stand on a platform and say, well, God bless the ANA and the Afghan troops for fighting for their country. This is outrageous. The American people need to know we have leaders that are doing things regularly on a political basis, not in the interest of our country. Well, we're going to the Pentagon and we're asking questions. The Pentagon says, ask the State Department. You go to the State Department, we ask questions, and they defer you to somebody else. And the person you can't get to is President Biden. The person you can't get to is Vice President Kamala Harris. And what we're continuing to evacuate Americans from Afghanistan. That's still happening now. And it's a perilous situation, according to the Pentagon that was released yesterday. I want to show you this. Uh, this is a flashback to what President Biden said about the potential of the Taliban seizing control of the country. And this was only last month. Here's that. The likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. What? I, I, I don't yeah. even I, I don't even understand your thoughts. Well, you know, highly unlikely. They had the memo right about then. Ask the soldiers, the officers, ask the embassy folks, uh, Mr. Biden. Look, they were proceeding with this um, regardless of the information they were receiving, they, they were getting. Uh, he wanted his 9-11 moment. Um, I assume that they knew at least that there would be a civil war uh, that would occur uh, between the Afghan military and the Taliban. And again, um, they uh, would view it as uh, they would be out of it. And, you know, God bless the uh, the Afghanistani army. Meanwhile, we're showing reports of the Taliban marching with our military equipment. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, over 100 at least um, uh, Black Hawk helicopters and other air aircraft. Um, this was this was beyond hasty. It was very much of a retreat. Uh, you know, certainly God bless the, the veterans who were there and kept us safe for 20 years. And when they see policy decisions like this, um, you know, it's just it's just a, a bit of a shameful day for America. Uh, nevertheless, we always come back and we will. And we need to continue uh, the evacuation efforts. But he here, here's the thing, Congressman. We've got British paratroopers going outside of Kabul to, to get people. And that was the question. If, if the Brits can do it, if other countries can do it, other government agents can, can do it, why aren't we? Because we are getting anecdotal information that there are Americans that are outside of the airport. They can't get to Kabul because they got to go through these Taliban checkpoints. And for fear of their life, they don't know how to get there. They need yeah, there's our a few help. things that we need to do. And listen, I was uh, not I'm not a military expert, but we need to establish a perimeter. We need the forces necessary to establish a safe perimeter. We must assure safe entry uh, for uh, uh, American civilians that are there. We, we have Afghan allies that also need that level of security and uh, we need more evacuation. And the Taliban needs to be issued a warning. Right, that if they engage in, in hostilities that, that harm Americans or allies, we will respond in a significant manner. You know, in exactly what you said, uh, the way you worded it, uh, with strength, 
Do you see that coming from President Biden at this moment? And do you think it's necessary that the commander in chief, while we're doing an evacuation effort of a, of a war that we've been in for 20 years, needs to come forward and address the Taliban and show strength that not one hair on an American gets harmed or any uh, Afghans that worked with us along the way? Right. I mean, you know, the other night he did a, a, a press conference on the booster shot to obviously uh, to take people's attention away from this, which clearly didn't work, thankfully. And of course, it, it wouldn't. You know, they, these leaders tend to, so-called leaders anyway, tend to think people are, are, are stupid. Um, and, and that's very sad. You know, people are very, very tired of these so-called leaders never being in doubt, but also never being right and never taking responsibility and not appreciating that in the real world, results are all that matter. And honor uh, for, for uh, either supporting your decision or um, taking blame for it and correcting it from there. So unfortunately, we don't see much of that honor. Um, but look, we've got Germany and other countries taking the leadership role here. The, the Brits are going through the streets, uh, the, 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 the UK military. Right, they are engaged. They are showing more confidence. They're talking to the Taliban. And by the way, they were all taken by surprise by this as well, right? Yeah. The the uh, type of withdrawal yeah. that took place. So unmitigated disaster from stem to stern. Um, all we can do right now is demand action, right. a positive action to keep Americans safe, to quell the situation and inform the Taliban we're not going to stand for a new festering be, uh, a pot of, of terrorism being created in uh, in Afghanistan. You know, and I got to I got to go. But I, I I think the only good thing, if you could say it, that's coming from this is all the media is finally reporting on the exact same thing in the exact same way, because there's no way to ignore the facts of what's happening right now. Congressman Dan Musil. So true. That is encouraging. Hey, thanks very much. You got it. We'll talk to you soon, Congressman. Thank you.